right, so here he is, the UFC featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And we have truly run out of superlatives when it comes to talking about this man and his mixed martial arts acumen. There are three guys who can lay claim to being the greatest featherweight of all time, and yet Alex is kind of distancing himself from yeah, that pack. It's crazy. It's crazy how good Alexander Volkanovsky is. I mean, you always knew he could fight. But to see some of the performances as of late, and to see how he continues to evolve and get better even as the champion is really impressive. And it's a credit to him and all of his coaches, but mostly his mindset. I don't know if there's a guy in fighting that has a higher fight IQ than Alexander the Great. I just like to take note of what I'm experiencing every time this guy steps in the octagon because it's always something special. And certainly since he signed with the UFC all the way back in 2016, he has been a promotional workhorse. Strength of schedule as good as it gets. And of course, as he enters competition tonight, can lay claim to four combined wins over Jose Aldo and Max Holloway. Greatest Crazy. featherweight of all time. So here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Gulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face. He wants to take it on, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage. He's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov ready to engage in another high-profile matchup here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> here we'll see what Alexander Volkanovsky can do he believes he will have the striking advantage the wrestling advantage believes that he has the grappling advantage as well remains to be seen but certainly confidence is not an issue in our midweek fighter meeting with Alexander the Great well you can feel that Bruce Octagon side after the swing and a miss by Nurmagomedov Looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent, and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. He has controlled the position, postured up, and landed another strike that has caused it swelling. <laughs> Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Only somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Oh, big, big shots here. Nurmagomedov's Medov's back to the side control now. Oh, 
All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hand. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to feel the lock so you can get to your feet. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so now a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Knee is blocked. Big right hook there by the champ. Mago Medov gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Big knee lands to the body. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Mercifully, that is it for the round, and Volkanovski's eye is worse for wear. That's completely swollen shut at this point in time. You know the ringside physician is going to come in and take a look, but you got to think the vision, at least in that eye, is completely compromised at this point in time. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will fight. not be wearing the damage. Good. He's wearing it now. Good. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Nice shot lands downstairs. Volkanovski going for the takedown. He misses. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just misses there with the left. Nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. There. Somehow his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Volkanovski's eye is now swollen shut. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Clearly, the referee keeping a close eye on the fight. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, oh hip toss to get him down. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent. Oh. You gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Get it, jump. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Good work, guys. Come on. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Volkanovski getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Back mount now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nermago Medov's got his back again. All these actions, though, these big actions, got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh, man, he's just getting tattooed on that already compromised spot. Might need to call in the doctor here if you're the referee, sir. And now, I think 
think he's looking for a submission. He's going to start to chase the arm track. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He worked. Wow. That is great submission defense. Wow. Ten minutes in the can. All right, there's the end of the round. Back to the stools we go, and they need to do something to address the swelling because at this point in time, he has almost been rendered a one-eyed fighter. It's looking bad. We've got to pull this out. We can't let this. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. Takedown defense is there. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Beautiful kick lands there. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, Volkanovski's in half court. Oh, right to the mount. Volkanovski's right back to the full mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Nicely done. Big ground and pound. Great ground and pound by this man. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Volkanovski going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. Volkanovski's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. Oh, just a nasty leg kick out the hook. That's all the I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Oh, we're getting a finish here. With two minutes and change to go in round three. All right, breaking the action here. No surprise to see it. The ref is going to get the doctor to look at that eye that is nearly shut at this point. Yeah, it's swelling bad, but he seems to still want to be out there. Nope, there it is. Doctor waves off the fight. Certainly an unfortunate end to this one, but you have to protect a one-eyed fight. Absolutely. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight, declaring the winner by TKO, and still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Mimago Mera. All right, so congratulations to Khabib Nurmagomedov proving his greatness yet again tonight. It's just incredible that an athlete in this division could sustain excellence for so long. I mean, the eagle has landed, and once again, a vintage Khabib Nurmagomedov performance. Exactly what you expect every time he steps foot in the octagon.